Yo, 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 yo. So I get these uh, notifications from the Free Thought Project. And it's like, there's more police brutality than I can even keep up with. There's more police brutality than I can keep up with. I could do like three videos a day easily just on the stories from this website. I haven't even gotten to any other websites, basically. There's more than just this website, people, but they do such a good job, especially this mad agorist. Anyway, on my screen recorder, I'm actually trying something new. It's supposed to flip to landscape mode when I flip the phone to landscape mode automatically. So let's see if it happens. Let me know in the comments. And Joel, sure, just text my personal number, Joel. Okay? Joel, the analyst, the YouTube video analyst. All right, uh, that's my friend, so... Don't go looking for some random guy named Joel and tell him to F himself or anything. Okay. Am I ever going to start this? All right, here we go. It's just bad news all the time. You know what I mean? So, innocent 52-year-old 50 innocent fifty two year old man files complaint against the cop. So, he's beaten, tasered, and kidnapped. Of course, that's going to be my thumbnail. Get that out of the way. An innocent man attempted to file a complaint against Kentucky cop, who in turn went to his home, tasered, pepper sprayed, beat, and falsely arrested him for it. There's your cop on the right. There's there's your uh, victim on the left. See the guy on the right? That's who people claim are heroes. See him? Providence, Kentucky. A case of police misconduct was so outrageous and so egregious that a police officer has actually been sentenced to prison this week. Oh, he actually got punished for it. Amazing. Former officer William Dukes Jr. of the Providence Police Department will spend the better part of the next four years in a cage for the horrifying treatment, abuse, and kidnapping. Four years for kidnapping. Of an innocent man, all for filing a complaint against him. According to a press release from the Department of Justice, Dukes was sentenced Thursday to a 42-month 42 months in federal prison and three years supervised release for willfully depriving a Kentucky citizen of his constitutional rights under the color of law. This color of law thing is, I need to make a video just about that because police use color of law all the time. Color of law, let's see, simplistically is you're acting in an official capacity like a cop or a fed or some type of guy with a gun. And you're enforcing something it's like the ID. That's a good example. Let me see some ID. Well, under the real law, you don't have to ID unless you're suspected of about to commit or have already committed a crime. But cops, under color of law, in other words, under the color of law, like they're pretending that it's law, say, no, you have to ID to all police officers when asked. That's acting under the color of law. Okay. Uh, helping. So <coughs> carry on here. Helping to secure this sentence was the fact that this home invasion and assault was captured on video. Great. The incident happened May of 2016 when Dukes pulled over Jeffrey Little Page around 11 p.m. and was apparently so rude that Little Page called the Providence City Dispatch and Kentucky State Police stating he wanted to make a complaint. Little Page had committed no crime and was let off go, let off, they probably meant to put let go, after Dukes pulled him over. However, when Little Page called to make the complaint, Dukes answered the phone. Then all hell broke loose. The jury heard evidence presented in court that when the victim called the Providence Police Department to complain about Dukes, Dukes responded by threatening to arrest him if he called back again. Still determined to file a complaint, the victim then called local sheriff's office and Kentucky State Police. When Dukes became aware of these additional calls, he drove to the victim's home in the middle of the night without a warrant to arrest him. Arrest him for what? I don't know. For trying to file a complaint? Upon arriving at the victim's home after 1 a.m., Dukes attempted to arrest the victim based solely on the phone calls he made complaining about Dukes. So he's going to arrest him for making phone calls.
to file a complaint. When the victim insisted he had done nothing wrong and retreated into his home, Dukes entered the victim's home without a warrant. Dukes then tased him, the victim, sprayed him in the face with pepper spray, struck him repeatedly with a police baton, and punched him in the face, breaking the victim's nose. Next, Dukes handcuffed the victim and charged him with four crimes, including a charge of property damage, because blood from the victim's nose that the cop broke got onto the cop's uniform. So the cop charged him with that. You can see. The cop charged this guy for property damage because he he broke the guy's nose and the blood from his nose got on the guy's on the cop's uniform. So he charged him with property damage too. That's how disgustingly uh brainwashed and corrupted police have become. You understand? Police officers have a duty to protect the rights of members of their community and safeguard them from harm or injury, said Acting Assistant Attorney General John Gore. Dukes abused his authority as law enforcement officer by illegally arresting his victim and also by inflicting unwarranted physical harm, and the Justice Department held him responsible. Kentucky lawmen and women among the finest of the nation, said Attorney Russell Coleman, sure. But when they cross a clear line, oh, this, this time it's clear, not the other thousand times they get let off. As did Mr. Dukes, they will be held accountable like any other citizen of our commonwealth. Okay. U.S. Attorney. Below is the most heinous criminal act captured on the officer's own body camera. He wasn't even smart enough to turn off his camera. They're so brainwashed and corrupted, they commit these crimes on video. How can he, this guy even think this way that if someone tries to file a complaint against him, which is perfectly legal, that he can get in taxpayer-funded car, drive all the way to his house, and basically attack, assault, with, and kidnap him, and assault him with a deadly weapon? He should have done way more than four years. Luckily for Little Page, he was not killed. However, he was seriously injured, humiliated, and his rights violated. Below are the three separate videos... From the night Duke abused his authority and beat the hell out of an innocent man, then charged him with a crime. Warning, the video is hard to watch as the innocent elderly man begs for help as he is repeatedly tasered, pepper sprayed, and beaten. Alright, so now this should... This video should go horizontal automatically. Let's see what happens. Put your clothes on. What? Because you're under arrest. For what? Harassing communications. Get your I stuff. I haven't talked to you for one time. Get your stuff. No. You're going with me. I'm not going to jail for something I didn't do. Yeah, you are. Where's your boss? You're going to jail. No. Yes, you are. I'm not going to jail for something I didn't do. You're going to jail. No. Leave me alone. Put your hands behind your back now. No. Ow! So, did he say he's arresting him for harassing communications? Harassing communications? He called to file a complaint. And he only talked to him once, according to him right there. So, now he's in the house... And he's telling him he's under arrest for nothing. And now he's electrocuting him already. Like a scumbag. Oh, 64 Providence taser deployed. Get on the floor! Get on the floor! Leave me alone! Get on the floor! Leave I'll tase alone. you again! I'm not doing nothing! Stop! Please stop! Get on the floor! Stop it! Leave me And this isn't terrorism right here? People will get mad at me when I say police are terrorists. Is this not a terrorist right here? This is not terrorism? Look up the definition of a terrorist and tell me this isn't a terrorist right here.
You're not watching a terrorist in action. Hello! Get on the floor! No, I didn't do nothing. This is my house. No! Leave me alone! Stop it! Leave me alone! Stop! Get on the floor! Help me somebody! Help me somebody! Please! Please, God, help me! Please! Uh, now, I don't mean to bash the victim or anything, because most people don't know, and that's why I make these videos. But if a cop shows up to your house, you do not have to open the door the same way you don't have to roll down your window when you get pulled over. At least in Florida, you don't have to roll down your window. FS322.15. Uh, at your home, unless they have a warrant, which is what is required by the Fourth Amendment, and I'm sure there's a supporting state statute in your state, they cannot compel you to open the door or talk to them. If they have a warrant, they can break the door down. Otherwise, don't open the door for police. Yell at them through the door. Tell, have, tell them to have their dispatcher call you. Oh, now look what this terrorist is doing to this guy. I don't understand why the audio cuts out. I'm not doing that. I didn't do nothing! Stop it! I didn't do nothing! Get on the floor! Stop it! <laughs> oh, no! Stop! I did get on the floor! No, I didn't Get on the floor! Get on the floor! No! Get on the floor! No! <coughs> Leave me alone, Get on Now, if we want to talk law, I guarantee you, I don't care which state this is, I guarantee you that this guy who's in, who owns his home has every legal right to use equal or greater force against this cop, including lethal force. This cop is breaking into his house, and he's... Like electrocuting him and beating him and kidnapping him. He has every right to defend himself. Let a cop try this, do this to me and tell me that he's going to arrest me for, for contempt of cop, which is, this is what exactly what this is. On the floor! I won't say nothing. Get on the floor! No! Leave me alone! Get on the floor! Stop it! I Get on nothing. the floor! No! <clears throat> 64 Providence. Get on, I'm going to hit you again. Look what you did. Stop it. Wait a minute. Please I'm going to call my neighbor. Please. Please don't. Please. Get on the floor. No. I want to call my neighbor. I don't know why the audio cuts off. Stand by, I'm fighting. Stay on the ground. I didn't do Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. No. Stop hitting me. Help me, somebody, please. You're under arrest. I done told you numerous times. I didn't do nothing. I done told you. Oh, yeah, it's Kentucky. Look what you done. Help me, somebody! Help me! So here's the thing. This guy literally needs help. Do you see any of those American patriots, neighbors coming out to help him? See, that's the thing. If someone's being done like this by a cop in my neighborhood, or not in anyone's neighborhood, we should all go outside, and the first thing we should do is question the cop on what he's doing and why he's doing it. And if he doesn't answer, we put the pressure on louder yell louder yell louder until he answers you and then if he still doesn't answer you and you don't get satisfaction the whole group of us would go down to the police station until we got an answer day after day after day or else you're never going to see change people i'm sorry the reason this guy's getting away with this right now no one's helping the other guy people see police lights they don't stop and see what's going on they think whoever whoever's involved with the police they must have done something wrong. It's automatic the police get the moral high ground in this country. Help 
me! Help me! Help me! Stop it! Stop it! Somebody help me! Help me! Somebody! So there's that one. So this should automatically go back to portrait mode if this program was working correctly. And then we'll play this up this next video. Uh, all I'm doing is locking it and figure out how to get in. Damn, my face is burning. Woo, I think I got more of it than he did. Oh man, my face is burning, man. <laughs> I just came in here and performed my tyranny on this guy. I had to electrocute him. He doesn't understand. We make up the law. This badge, you see here, this badge, this badge is the law, not the actual law itself. Come on. What are you living in, 2018, where you actually want to be uh, a police accountability and all that stuff? Well, let me guess, you're going to go take a knee at the next football game, right? I mean, I don't mind it. Speaking of Colin Kaepernick, it's another thing that pisses me off. This is what the media does in this country. They did it with Ron Paul. The Tea Party started was started by 9-11 Truth Movement in uh, 2006. They threw the 9-11 Commission Report in the Boston Harbor, I believe. They called it the Boston Tea Party of 2006 because the 9-11 Commission Report, just like the Warren Commission Report, is a, is a lie. It's a lie. It doesn't even mention... World Trade Center 7 in the whole in the whole thing. I can go on about 9-11 for two years. But anyway, where was I going with this? Oh, see? When I get off on a tangent like that. 9-11. As soon as I play this video, I remember. Hey, it, 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 didn't do nothing to him. Taser's over with, though. Here. I got blood everywhere. You need a... Yeah, if you get kind of a wash cloth or something, wipe my face, I wipe my arm. The cop needs special medical attention here. What was it, man? Now you know I'm over 40. I totally forgot. What did 9 11 have to do with anything? Oh, the teep. Oh, co opting. Okay, co opting. Co opting. What am I trying to co opt? So the media co-opted the Tea Party movement. It actually started as 9-11 Truth, and then they co-opted it, and it became the Republicans all of a sudden were Tea Partiers. No, 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 no. The only true Tea Partiers in mainstream politics were Ron Paul and Rand Paul. And if you want to talk about uh, Dennis Kucinich or something, come on, guys. Dennis Kucinich or something on the Democratic side, but... They co-opted the Tea Party movement. So what's that? Oh, Kaepernick. You guys like how I'm just live thinking out loud? You like that? I'm sure uh, half of you are like, dude, just play the video. Shut your fat mouth and your big eyebrows up. I hope your eyebrows jump off a bridge. So, Kaepernick. Okay. Kaepernick started taking a knee or sitting or whatever he was doing in protest. He was doing it because of police brutality. I think he was doing it against, uh, specifically against uh, police brutality against blacks, but police are equal opportunity, man. I, I hate to tell you guys. And if you want to say per capita blacks this, then per capita Indians are abused by police far more than blacks. So the per capita argument is nonsense, okay? Police are equal opportunity brutalitists. I just made that up. They're all blue liners for the most part. Don't get me wrong, about 5% of them actually have read the Constitution, understand it, and use it before they take action. But Kaepernick took a knee because of police brutality. Then the media, just like they did with uh, the Tea Party, they co-opted Kaepernick's movement and pretended like it wasn't about police brutality, that it was about disrespecting the flag and the military. He never, ever, ever took a knee to disrespect the military or the flag. That's a lie perpetrated by your fake news on TV. And if you still watch TV for news, I'm sorry for you, man. You're 
your information intake filter should be far better than that. And when you like when I watch mainstream news, I just get aggravated because I can see right through what they're saying. So he took a knee for police brutality and then they co-opted his movement and turned it into their own anti Kaepernick movement, saying that he's disrespecting the flag in the military. And Trump has jumped right along on it. That's not why he took a knee. And they're liars. And Trump's jumping on the fake news bandwagon by saying that he's disrespecting the flag in the military. All right, so let's get back to this story. Within my story, within my rant, within my tangent. My God, this video is over 20 minutes. So, here's the cop after he's committed all these felonies, okay? Arms. He needs medical attention. Tyranny is really hard on him. You know, performing tyranny is not that easy. Especially when the feeble guy who can't even pronounce certain words says, No, I'm not getting on the ground. No. MF or come into my house and see what kind of reaction. Even cross the threshold of my door without a warrant and see what happens to you. Okay? See what happens to you. You cross the threshold of my door without a warrant. See what happens to you. You're lucky that... uh you made it out of this situation. And remember, this guy only got four years for going to an innocent man's home and, and kidnapping him and beating him with a deadly weapon, electrocuting him. Only four years. Uh, they said they're not for skin, but I just used it on mine because I have blood on my stuff. Yeah, I'll get it at the hospital. I just, I have my. You got, you got conditions, so. Yeah. Sure that will kill I, shit. He's got conditions, all right? Yes, please. He's got conditions, all right? Now he's cracking jokes. Who, who's the one with the condition, bro? Who's the indoctrinated pig? Thank you. You guys are the greatest. Yeah, they are, unlike you. Mm. Yeah. That's the best fight I've been in in a while. <laughs> so there's that video. So this should switch back to portrait if all goes well. I think that's it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Dude gets four years. That's it. Four years for being... Basically, he got butt hurt, just like Booty Aiken and every other cop I deal with that... You know, gives you address citations because you hurt their feelings. You, you hear that, Davila? You wuss. All you did was make me money and make your department look even worse than they already do. One guy in your, the one cop in your department on Live PD masturbates and smears it on a girl. And from what I understand, that he he got he was found innocent of that. Oh Lord! Oh, you see, my brain's going a million directions. So. There's this video. Please like, please subscribe, please hit the bell button, click the thumbs up, click the join button if you want to join, etc., etc., etc. Do you realize it's pronounced et cetera? For 40 years, I've pronounced it et cetera. Now I can't pronounce it the wrong way anymore. Et, etc., et, et, etc., etc., etc.